Let's talk about fragments. All right, what is a fragment? Well, the simple definition is it's not a complete sentence. And if you're wondering what makes a complete sentence, it's actually very simple in English. You need a subject, you need a verb, you need nothing else. So what's an example of a complete sentence? I eat. Subject, verb. Who's doing the verb? Subject, verb. What are they doing? Eating. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So what would be an example of a sentence which is totally fine? I go to Santa Cruz, okay, so I is the subject, go is the verb, okay, to Santa Cruz, prepositional phrase, comma, which is cool. So this is a dependent clause. You can't just have this clause be alone. It needs to modify something else. It modifies what comes before. Now, where we go awry is if we have the same starting sentence, but that we leave this dependent clause, this clause which needs to be attached to something. It needs to go on to something. If we make it its own sentence, uh, there's no subject, there's no verb. Okay, It has to be modifying something. It needs something to attach to. It can't operate by itself. It's like downloadable content for a video game. You, you need the base game. And this sentence can't stand alone, so it's a fragment. Let's, let's look at an example from a writer in an essay where this could come up in a more complex sentence. Without even formally introducing Beowulf, the character is introduced as a hero. Totally fine. The quality which was only observed through his attire and physique slash strength. What was, the ver what was the subject there? The quality? The problem is, there's no verb because we go immediately into a dependent clause, which was only observed through his attire and physique slash strength. That is, again, a dependent clause. It needs to attach to something. There's no verb here. So this would have to be something like the quality of Beowulf is, so we've got a verb now, his strength, and then we could attach this dependent clause with which to this. But without that addition, it's a fragment. Here's another way that I commonly see fragments when I grade essays. This is like some weird speaking thing that people pick up from, I don't know, speeches or hearing other people talk. But a lot of people like to start their essays with a fragment like this. War. The ideal way to prove one's superiority over another. Uh, okay, we've got a subject, war, and then we've got another noun, the ideal way to prove one superiority over another. There's no verb there. Now, obviously, what's implied, what's implied by this sentence is that war is the ideal way. But you can't just let the reader have to figure that out in a written essay. You would have to say war is the ideal way to prove one's superiority over another. And once you do that, it stops being as rhetorical and kind of nice to the ear. It's never right in writing. So well, how could we fix this example up here? Well, once again, you just add a subject and a verb. So Beowulf possesses this heroic quality through his attire and physique. So Fragments are really easy to fix. It just means you don't have a subject and a verb, that you've let a dependent clause, something which should be adding on to something, something that should be, you know, DLC for your video game, become the main attraction. Nobody wants that. Okay, you need the, you need the main subject verb, and then you can add your special other stuff.